smiled and her eyes sparkled. She'd only ever had one other person care so much about her. That had been her father. Pain touched her at the thought of never seeing him again. She sucked it up. No, but you could answer my question. Which one? Ryan gazed into the, into the handheld screen, not trusting himself to look into those incredible blue eyes. Where do the species names come from? Oh, that. Since most species can't pronounce the name a species calls themselves, it's customary to find an animal native to your home world that superficially resembles the species and add a prefix or a suffix to the name. So felinezoid, because they look like felines. Ryan found the courage to meet Round's gaze. We'd only just been co-opted into the Republic when we met the felinezoids. We were trying to show everyone respect, so we picked what we thought was the most polite name possible. They weren't so, so kind. How so? A literal translation of their name for us is masturbating ape. Rowan laughed. That's Torok's sense of humor all the way. Ryan grinned. He was designed to be the quintessential felinezoid. Rowan gazed at the floor. What did I say? Ryan reached out and took her hand. It's... Rowan met his gaze. Designed. Me, my family, my friends. We we're all built like a machine. It doesn't make you any less human. I don't even know who my real mother and father were. I'm only a clone of some actress who died centuries ago. Ryan cupped her cheek in his palm. Rowan, you are Rowan McPherson. Daughter of Gunther McPherson and Willa McPherson. So what that you were adopted? Tears welled in her eyes. It's more than that. All my memories are that. Memories. Look, when I was cloned, I went through the same kind of thing. Was I still Ryan Chandler or some cheap copy? I realized it didn't matter. I am what I make myself. I choose the person I am every time I make a decision. It's the same for you.